What's up, everyone? Happy Easter and happy Sunday. Uh, I'm finally back here. I've uh, <clears throat> recently been switching over my, my gear, and so I've been down for a couple of weeks while I've been trying to figure all that out. And so today I want to go over the new gear that I'm running, uh, the new frames, and then, uh, yeah, we're going to go out into the field and, and give it a test today. Um, I'm excited to get back up in the skies, so hopefully I'm not too rusty. We'll see. Uh, so today I want to start off, um, so I decided to go with Armaton uh, for my frames right now. I'm, I'm going to try out a few different frames this year. Um, I started with the Armaton. I'm also going to be trying out uh, another Bando Basher frame that's going to be coming out soon. Um, my friends Colin and Kim are going to be putting that frame out, uh, so that'll be another one that I'll try. Um, the plan is to fly a few different frames this year, uh, take them to Crash, Castle Crash with me, and just figure out what I like, and then at the end of the year, I'm gonna, um, whatever frame I decide I like the most, I'm just gonna stick with that and then continue to use that. Uh, I also decided to switch up all my electronics and my motors recently. I was running iFlight stuff uh, since I started flying about three, three and a half years ago now and it's treated me well uh but i just needed something better <laughs> um you know and uh um a, a, with a little bit more power i guess so i uh, moved over to team motor i'm trying out a couple of different team motor stacks uh, i hit up fly high and he kind of gave me some suggestions um so to start off with i built the rooster first i still don't have the full thing done yet uh, because i didn't realize that i needed some prints for the camera cage here in order to mount my walk snail camera it's just too wide in there uh, some of you might have seen my instagram post about that so but i wanted to talk a little bit about this frame just from building the frame up itself um i probably will not be going with this frame uh just because these front arms, they really suck to mount, man. Uh, you have to mount it with this cage, this piece, and uh, send it up through the bottom of the cage as well. Um, it's really hard to balance all that stuff and get the screw back through there, and that's gonna make for a pain in the ass time when I break arms out in the field. And I'm not looking for something that hard. I just, I wanna be able to remove a bolt or two, slip it out, slip it back in, convenience is key when you're out in the field um besides that it is a nice little frame it's very sturdy um i like how compact it is too as well uh so i'm, I'm gonna fly this until it breaks and then i'm gonna retire this one um so since i couldn't uh, get the prints for this camera cage right away because i don't have a 3d printer i decided to move on i had also bought the beaver so i decided to build the beaver up too uh, this is the Armaton Beaver. Um, this frame was a lot easier to put together. It does have these one single bolts. You pull this bolt out, the arm slides out, slides back in. It's super quick and easy. Um, I actually, did, when I built the frame originally uh, yesterday, I accidentally put all the arms on backwards and so it was tight. Uh, the props didn't fit, it was hitting the cage and stuff. So I actually, I had to pull all the arms out and then um, redo them so they they were more in an X pattern and that really only took me like five minutes to do so that's that's awesome um, yeah I, I mean you don't even need to loosen up all the bolts in order to get it you just loosen the one slides right out slides right back in pop the bolt back in you're good to go so um, this this frame is definitely going to be in the running this year um, it's not too heavy it's about the same weight as my AOS 5 was it's 125 grams uh, the frame itself um, and then so that's the frame as far as my electronics go uh, so in the beaver I've got the f7 uh, 55 amp stack 
Uh, so I figured I'd try out this one. And then in the rooster, I'm trying out uh, a stack that Fly Hider recommended to me. It's it's a uh, it's not a stack you can buy together. You gotta buy it separately. Uh, it's the Velox 45 amp ESC and the F7 uh, flight controller. And these two together were actually cheaper than buying this. So, um, I, I, I but I, I do want to test them both out, just see what works best for me, what holds on the longest, what's the strongest, and then go from there. Um, I definitely, you definitely don't need 55 amps to fly five inch. It's kind of overkill, but it's it's all good. I mean, I just wanted to try out both of them, see what I like, uh, the convenience of just buying this alone or having to buy these separately. I, I got both of these off of Fly High's website anyway. That's where I'll be going for most of my stuff as I love supporting my homies. Um, as far as the motors go, I am doing the F60 Pro Vs uh, from T-Motor and I got the 1950 KV because that's that's just what I'm used to flying. I used to fly the Rainbows from iFlight. Uh, those are also 1950s. Uh, those motors were weak though, man. I'd crash into grass sometimes and end up bending um, the stator or whatever. And I, I've just blown way too many of those motors. So I'm hoping that these are a lot stronger and a lot more uh, powerful, hopefully. So I uh, got my prints from Jack Higgins from Higgins 3D Printing. Uh, that guy is awesome, man. He jumped right on my prints and had them to me very quickly. I uh, wish I would have known I needed the prints for the rooster though, because I'm sure he would have gotten those to me too. Uh, he actually offered to, to get them out yesterday for me when he found out that I needed them. And I told him, no worries, I got a buddy making me temporary shims. And then Fly High actually has a custom designed uh, camera mount for that, that I'm gonna have him make when he gets back from Ireland. So that's the gear that i'm running right now um you know and i'm still running walk snail uh with the pro v2 or v3 camera and uh i, I love the night capabilities of that camera man it's freaking awesome and then the gopro hero 12. so that's my gear um i can't really think of anything else to talk about with this frame yet uh, I, I guess the next step would be to get out in the field and let's fly it. Let's let's send this thing on its maiden. I uh, got everything updated last night. Got my rates downloaded, and uh, I used the Superfly preset uh, for pit tuning, uh, just because I always run D Shot 600 anyway or D Shot 300. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm excited to get this thing out in the field. My, la my last flight with the AOS 5, I was actually testing out some new rates, and I only got a couple of flights out of it before that frame crashed and took a crap on me, so uh, I'm excited to get out and test these new rates again and uh, just see where I'm landing. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's stop talking about it, and let's get out there, and let's do some flying. So I just pulled up to the spot. It's a little office park that I like to come to once in a while. It's actually been a while since I've flown here, uh, but it's got some cool stuff. It's got some tree gaps. It's got a bunch of different buildings. Um, yeah, I mean, it's 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 got some stuff to fly. It's definitely a good spot to test a new drone at. Uh, you know, it's kind of open. I've got tree stuff to play with. Um, so yeah, this is, this is where we're going to hit it first. Um, and yeah, I forgot to talk about my props too. Um, I fly the H, these are the HQ J forties on here. I love these props. Uh, they've treated me very well. They're strong. They're aggressive. Um, I love everything about them, honestly. And, uh, I also like to fly the, the HQ ethics mangoes. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a flowy pilot. So sometimes I like to slow it down a little bit too. Um, speaking of which, this is a great spot for, for flowy flying too, as well. So yeah, let's, uh, again, let's stop talking about it. Let's get out of the car and let's do some flying. I'm excited. All right.
right, so I'm going to try to talk and fly a little bit here if I can um, and give you my thoughts as I'm flying. Uh, first off, I am a little rusty. <laughs> it has been a while, like I said, since I've flown. Um, so we'll take it kind of easy here on this first pack, just kind of get used to these rates again. And then uh, the next pack will we'll go kind of harder with it. Ooh, that was nice. That caught really nice right there. I love, like, so far, these T-Motor motors are feeling great. Pulling out of dives really nice. Come on, let's, let's try to go over, up and over this here. Go out by a second. Oh, easy, easy. It's a little windy out here. That kind of sucks. Wind throwing me around. Ooh, what was that? Something got a little tweaky there. Not sure what that was. Maybe that was me and my sticks. Oh, I don't, I'm not feeling anything weird right now. Ooh. These rates are feeling a little goosey goosey though. Like it feels different. Is there a difference between like uh, Ray packages between like T-Motor and iFlight, like, is it gonna feel different? Something feels weird. It just feels a lot looser than normal, not as tight as I'm used to. Let's try Banny Roll. Oh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I suppose I could bring you with me. Find out what I just did to this quad already. It's not taking off for some reason already. Hopefully I didn't already fuck a motor up. Huh. So, the front left motor is starting up weird and I'm not sure why that is. Look at that. What could be causing that? If uh, if you know, let me know down below. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see if this thing still flies or not. One of the props is totally messed up on it. Uh, so I'm gonna change that, or just bend that prop back quick and then, yeah, see if we can't still do some ripping with this yet. I'm gonna be very disappointed if, uh, if I'm already having to be done for the day, I really wanted to get a few packs and I brought six out with me, so we'll see, we'll see. I didn't bring any extra motors out here with me. I have some at home, um, so I'm really hoping that I didn't just blow that motor already or the ESC itself, so we'll see. All right, shot number two. I did just test hover it again and hover it again. The motor is starting up weird, so that tells me maybe something's wrong with the ESC already. I freaking hope not. I mean, it's a brand new stack. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see what happens here. Uh-oh. Now I don't have any video transmitter. Okay, well, 
I have no video, so either my coax cable is messed up or the camera's already messed up, and that sucks because this is a brand new walk snail uh, V2 system. I just bought this, um, so I guess we're only getting the one flight in today. The coax cable is pinched in here. I wonder if I if I get that out of there, if that'll help any. See if that I got the coax cable unpinched from the camera. Okay, well, that's it, I guess. Uh, this coax cable is already messed up. That's very very disappointing um, very very disappointing so that's my flight video for today we get the one made in flight um, I guess I'll talk about it it was I, I man that's disappointing um, I like the way the frame flies I guess the made in flight it, it felt nice uh, something was a little twitchy um, so something's up with that ESC. I need to dig into that when I get back. Maybe one of my solder joints isn't the best or something. I don't know. Looking at it, I thought I did a very clean job. I spent a lot of time on that build. Um, so we'll take it back. We'll mess with uh, the ESC2 a little bit. Figure out why that's starting up slow. We'll change that coax cable out. I've got a bunch of extras at home right now. Um, and see if I can't get my video to come back. Uh, the coax cable was pinched between the camera and that metal cage and it looks like a little bit of the copper is showing so maybe it just shorted out i don't know i hope not um but yeah that's i mean you guys know this is what we deal with um it's it's not it's not all fun in games always sometimes you're dealing with issue after issue trying to get things to work uh and being a brand new build with brand new electronics i uh you know <clears throat> i should have known to expect what, what to expect i can't be too disappointed as you know it's just it's the first time i've tried to fly this setup so uh we'll take it back we'll tweak it a little bit and hopefully next weekend we'll get up and actually get some real ripping in um at least i got the one pack in uh, i got a little bit of ripping got the got the, the my craving i guess a little bit satisfied uh, i definitely want a lot more but it is what it is right now. Uh, I'll get my shims for the rooster tomorrow, and I'll get the rooster put together at the end of day, end of work day tomorrow, and then, I don't know, maybe I'll get out of work early one of these days this week, and I'll get to get out with the rooster and rip that and uh, get a few more packs in this week yet. Um, I won't make a vlog on that this week. I'll just do a flight video, and then next weekend, I'll do a full review on the rooster. Um, yeah, I wish I wish this could have been better. I apologize uh, about the shortness and uh, mainly just me talking and not much flying. But um, I wanted to give you my initial thoughts on the Beaver, and that's it. I guess I, I mean the first pack was decent. I I, I think I like the way it flies. Um, it didn't feel much different than my AOS five. So uh, if if that's the standard, then then we're good. And I love the way the AOS 5 flew. I just didn't like that the arms were so damn weak on it. So, yeah, I guess uh, we'll head back to the, the crib and let's end this video. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see you guys back there. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the frame. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to end it kind of early today and get to my family for Easter. So we'll see you at the crib. All right, so we're back at the crib. Um, obviously, you could tell the little bit of disappointment in my voice when I was out in the field that I only got that one pack in. Uh, it is what it is. Um, I'm just going to work on fixing this quad, get it working again, change out that coax cable. Hopefully, that was the issue with it. I'm guessing that's what it was. Um, I think I'm going to put a different power cord on it as well. I kind of made the power cord a little too short. Uh, I really had to stuff the battery in there, so... 
I'm gonna redo that as well um, and then check out ESC number two and why that motor wasn't spinning up the best uh, maybe it's just a solder issue or something like that but I don't want to take up too much of your guys's time um, and just sit here and talk at you a bunch I just wanted to review that frame a little bit um, and just give you my first initial thoughts on, on how, what I thought about it. Building it was uh, very, uh, very easy. It's an easy frame to put together. Um, like I said, I, I love that the arms are very interchangeable and easy to come in and out. Uh, also, here, let me grab it off my bag here. The arms aren't really too thick. I don't exactly know the millimeter on them. I'd have to look that up. Um, but I do a lot of like park flying and stuff like that. We don't really have any bandos around where I live. Uh, as soon as something goes out of business, they're tearing it down and putting something new up or reopening a new business in that building right away. And even when we get brandos, uh, they're very fast at putting stuff up around here, so they don't last. Uh, so if you don't have a working quad in the moment, you're probably not going to get it. So I just do a lot of park flying and stuff, so I don't have to worry too much. Um, I am going to build up the Armaton Marmot as well. Uh, the only reason I didn't choose that one right off the bat was because that's a single plate. It doesn't have removable arms. And uh, that's always kind of scared me because, I mean, if you got to change, I mean, you don't just change out an arm, then you're changing out your whole bottom plate. Uh, but from what I was told, the arms are pretty dang thick and they don't break nearly as often. So. Yeah, that's my initial thoughts on this quad. Um, you know, I got to get a little bit of flying in today. I got the one pack in at least. Uh, itched that craving a little bit, uh, but I definitely can't wait for next weekend to get some more packs in. Uh, you know, by then I'll have the rooster fully built up and ready to go. And next weekend's vlog will be a review on this guy. And then probably I'll add in a little bit more on this guy in the hopes that I have it fully working by then and um, yeah so thanks everybody for tuning in I really appreciate it if you could please hit the like and subscribe button it really helps out uh, also leave a comment below um, if you have any questions about this frame I'm, I'm very open to answering what I can about it um, but yeah I hope everybody has a happy Easter today and also a wonderful work week this week. We'll see you all next weekend. I promise I won't be taking a couple weeks off again. Peace.